Well, the person working the brakes on this Union Pacific train in Conway truly saved the day. A large semi, as you see here, got stuck on the railroad track crossing, and that train was headed right for it. But the engineer was able to slow down and stop the train before impact. Yeah, fortunately, no one was injured, but how close the two vehicles came really has to be seen in order to believe it. This all happened just a day after an Amtrak train collided with a dump truck in Missouri, killing four people. Our Katrin Asaf live in studio with the near miss in Conway and Katrin. Talk about a close call. Yeah, absolutely, Kevin, Donna. It could have ended up much worse. We've seen recent examples, as you'd mentioned, in national news where trains colliding with trucks ended in disaster. But everybody walked away from this one without even a scratch. Just a really crazy story. It's a common thing for the businesses off Mill Street. The clanking of cars passing over the railroad tracks, and every now and then, even a train. But what those heading into work did not expect to find was this. But that thing was stopped right against it. Jamie Davis was starting her shift at Patty Cakes Tuesday morning when she needed to head outside. We have a delivery van that we use to go to our other location, and it was just about that time that I needed to move it from the front of the building to the back. The trip is nothing unusual. But what Davis happened upon just feet from her bakery was nothing short of a miracle. Came around the side of the building. I was like, oh, okay, that's what's going on. A massive car carrier and a Union Pacific train stopped on the tracks inches from each other. Uh, first, I thought, thought they did hit it. I saw the train sitting about six feet from it. Those who ran out to help say the cab of the truck got stuck at the highest point of the tracks trapping the semi with no way out as the oncoming train screeched to a halt. With just seconds to spare, the collision never came. A near miss, Davis says, isn't the first to happen. It's the second time that's happened, though, in like two months of a big truck trying to come through downtown and just, yep, those train tracks are not made for that. An hour later, it's like it never happened. Just the scuff marks and pictures as evidence. And a crazy story to tell for those just passing by. Yeah, some pretty insane images there. Now, we did reach out to Union Pacific for a comment on that fast thinking conductor, but we haven't heard back. Condit police say Union Pacific is the primary agency in charge of this investigation. Reporting in studio, Katrin A. Saf, back to you.